first alert weather on NBC10 Boston, Boston's most accurate forecast. Now let's check on the weather. We're keeping an eye on what was Hurricane Barrel. Right now it's churning off the coast of the Gulf of, in the Gulf of Mexico, off the coast of Mexico, where it's gaining strength. Barrel left a trail of destruction. This was along Jamaica's southern coast. You can see that video right there on Thursday. Two people were killed as the storm moved right through there. Hundreds of others have been left homeless and also in shelters. And Sydney, obviously you were tracking this all week. So does this affect us at all? I know it's so far south. It is going to be impacting us here at home. We're going to be seeing moisture from this system, way weaker form in more of a rainstorm fashion. But what we're seeing now is tropical storm force winds at this time. And then it is likely going to continue to get stronger by the time before it makes its way uh, to the coast of Texas. Somewhere between Corpus, Chris Corpus Christi and Galveston is where that cone is highlighting at this time. And then eventually that moisture is going to be swinging towards New England. So we do have a bit of an unsettled pattern that's going to be setting itself up because of this storm. And speaking of that intensity, a lot of it is due to how warm the Gulf of Mexico is right now. Look at these temperatures of the surface of the ocean. We have some 90 plus degree temperatures in spots just along the coast, right near Texas, mostly above 85 degrees for those ocean temperatures. That is incredibly warm, and that's exactly what a storm needs in order to get strong longer and doesn't have much holding it back. So it is likely going to become a hurricane again before it does make landfall. And then we're going to see this moisture basically fan out and connect with another system that's heading our way. By the time that we head through parts of Tuesday and Wednesday, we're going to begin that unsettled pattern, but it will stick around into the end of the week at times as well. And this is a lower resolution model, so it's just showing rain basically across the board. But each day we're likely going to have at least the chance for scattered showers uh, once we get into the thick of next week. So talking more about that humidity, we're keeping the sticky humidity around as we go into our day tomorrow. So today it definitely feels sticky out there. Tomorrow it's going to be sticky as well, still in the 70s, two points in the 70s. So that air is going to feel thick and then upper 60s for Monday and Tuesday. Still, that's humid without those 70 degree dew points, even the upper 60s. That's still pretty humid out there to start off next week. At this time, we do have a few thunderstorms uh, that are making their way over southern New Hampshire. And it's like going to continue pretty slow moving though and breaking apart. This line is not necessarily connected, not necessarily gaining steam as it moves away, but we are seeing this thunderstorm dying out a little bit uh, overhead moving towards Manchester at this time and also a severe thunderstorm warning uh, in Vermont at this time, but locally we're not seeing that at least right now. So going through the rest of the evening, not expecting all that much as far as rain goes. What you see is what you get on that radar where we did have a few storms in southern New Hampshire. Uh, but going through our evening, possibly a scattered shower or two. For the most part, though, we're drying things out. And then Sunday will be mainly dry as well. We do have the opportunity for a bit of a warm up coming Sunday and also Monday. We're going to see those temperatures in the upper 80s and then low 90s as we go into Tuesday. So yes, the 90s are going to return that is paired with dew points in the upper 60s. So it's still going to be a bit humid, likely feeling warmer than 92 degrees when you do factor in that humidity. But then in come the rain chances Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. That is going to be some of it from moisture uh, from barrel. It is connecting with another system as it does move overhead. And by then temperatures are going to be settled in the low and middle 80s.